Welcome to Excel Magic Tricks 749. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Excel Magic Tricks 740 to 752, click on the link directly below the video and scroll down to the Excel Magic Tricks section. In this video, we have a simple, straightforward video, but a common problem that people have. We have uh, dates here, daily dates, and quantity, and we want to add by the criteria year. The problem is, there is a SUMIF function, and there is a year function. Year function is great. You can highlight this whole range inside of the year <coughs> and hit the F9 key. Perfect. It gives me an array of values, which then I'm going to control Z. I hit the F9 to evaluate. Then I have it look in there, and it should work just fine. And then we sum this range right here. But when you hit enter, it gives you a useless dialog box. It doesn't say anything except for there's a problem. It should just say, hey, some if function cannot handle arrays. And what's happening, as soon as you do inside of the year function, it's expecting a single serial number. And as soon as you put an a range in here like this, it creates an array. And some if will not, this range argument will not handle that. So I'm going to click Escape. We simply have to switch to some product in this example. We want the same year. If only I could type. Highlight the whole range here. Now this will be great. This will give us all the years. But what do we really want? If I hit F9, you can see that. Control Z. We want to say, are any of those equal to this? So you have to do the comparative operator directly inside the sum product. Now when you highlight this and hit F9, true, 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 true for all of these tens here and a bunch of falses. Now that's not going to work either inside of the sum product. We have to convert those trues and falses to ones and zeros. And I'm going to do double negative. Close parenthesis. Any operation on um, an array of trues and falses will convert it to ones and zeros. Double negative is the fastest calculating. So you can see if I hit F9, no problem. Now I just comma. Those ones and zeros will then be multiplied by this. Any of the zero values will cancel those values out. Ones will then retain those values, and some product will add. So our total. If we were to go, if we were to go like this to check it, and then hold Control and highlight here, you can see down in the status bar 1107. So that gives us our estimate just from highlighting cells. But that formula right there will do the job. See you next trick.